trample in the bin for a back oh, block. Giving a high block major. Oh, Terry Sotano is off to the penalty box. It's now all Brisbane's way. Yeah, this looks like we might have a lead change in the scoreboard as Penergy goes forward with this power jam. Oh, oh. Big, big Mac. Mac. Oh, Big Mac with a low block. That girl is a monster, really putting the herd on BCR. Penergy with five points for the Brisbane City Rollers. Two blockers for Paracy left on the track to do a big job there. And it's now looking like Paracy is going to hemorrhage some points. Oh, just around the back, just a little hop Oh, nice. Too easy. Really too easy. That, that's Pirate, that's Pirate City giving BCR five easy points. And here we go again. And nicely, nicely done there by Ruby Red Knuckles, slowing her down. But Penergy with the duke, and she is ahead again with another five points. Great agility there. Good lateral movement. And the scores have changed. It's 60 to 51 in the Brisbane City favour. And that is that jam over, called by Penergy from the Brisbane City Rollers. She looks like she's hurting. She took some monster hits there by Big Mac and by Ruby Red Knuckles. Pirate City putting on the hurt. Penergy are on her knees. Not good news for Brisbane City. She's a powerful player. Okay, we have the mess stepping up to a uh, jam for Pirate City. Pirate City is still with one blocker in the penalty box, so minor advantage to uh, Brisbane in the numbers in the pack. They have Skate the Muffs looking to make her way through the back of that powerful Brisbane City roller pack. But Sarah Gardner is your lead jammer. Well done. Skate the Muffs though on the heels. Excite himself. Sarah Gardner, Sarah Gardner approaching the rear of the pack for a first scoring pass. Can she maximize this? And there is that. That quick hit, two points. and two points for the Brisbane City Rollers, uh, zero points for the Pirate City Rollers. That brings our scores to uh, Brisbane 66, Pirate City 51. Haven't seen uh, Lady Trample for a while on the jammer line, but she's stepping up for uh, the Pirates. Yeah, Lady Trample's had some great games this weekend. Uh, I haven't seen her much this sprout, but the last sprout against uh, Brisbane City Rollers, she really stood up. Really put on the uh, the points for the Pirate City Rollers, so it'll be interesting to see this next jam. We also have Iron Thighs from the Brisbane City Rollers, and she's been playing even more. I was going to say even greater derby, but both these ladies phenomenal. That's better. And as we are still down one uh, blocker for Pirate City, so they're a little bit thin on the ground. Slight advantage to Brisbane as we go into this jam, but we are under an official timeout at the moment. It looked like there was a bit of a broken wrist guard that uh, officials wanted to make sure that everyone's equipment was... Terry Sotano joining the track there. Illegal to keep playing. Yeah, I've just been told that there was a broken wrist guard, so they're just slowing it down right, to so fix up that problem. A place. score of 66 to the Brisbane City Rollers, 51 to the Pirate City Rollers. Lady Tramble trying to muscle her way through. Yeah, if anyone can muscle her way through, it's Lady Tramble. But Iron Thighs, one of the greatest utilities, way out in front. Your lead jammer for the Brisbane City Rollers. Lady Tramble still stuck in the back, trying to find her way through. Iron Thighs approaching the back of the pack for a first scoring pass. And Lady Tramble with about a half a lap disadvantage. And there it is. You hit it and quit it. Iron Thighs. Four points for the Brisbane City Rollers. And they'll take Brisbane up to 70 points. <laughs> leaving Pirate City still on 51. We have just seven minutes left on the court of this first half of PCR versus PCR. Both these teams been playing some great derby against some very strong teams. Uh, they're both down here. I think they're playing for sixth and seventh. I think that's about where they're sitting on the table. Actually, the fifth and sixth, sorry. I believe they're playing for fifth, fifth and sixth. <laughs> Well, that is good Tula, news. Tula, where are you? So the winner of this bout will, will place fifth, and the loser will place sixth, which is no small feat considering the competition of this wonderful Great Southern Slam. Oh, the quality of Derby has been amazing. Meanwhile, back in the game... Sarah Gardner with a, a little bit of a jam on jammer. Well done for Skate the Must to dodge that, and they're both now pushing on the inside, but it's Sarah Gardner will lead jammer for the Brisbane City Rollers. Oh, she is a valuable player. 
It's going to muff a quarter lap behind, which we all know is nothing in a game of roller derby. Interesting to see if Sarah Gardner is going to go in for the hit and quit. Those quick four points, the points that we always talk about that win derby games. Still stuck at the back of the pack there. Pulling it off as Skate the Moss goes through. Skate the Moss thinks it's for the referee, doesn't agree. Yeah, Skate the Moss thinks it's for Rich up there, thinks it's zero, and it was one point there for Brisbane City Rollers. I don't want one. No, I don't want one. So that brings it to 51 to 51. Phil Fasiori stepping up to jam for Pirate City. Fang Fang for Brisbane. Just letting you know, ladies and gentlemen, please check out the DNN fan chat. We are reading. So if you have any questions or uh, some statements to say, feel free to ask us, and we'll do our best to uh, answer that for you. Thank Fiend for the Brisbane City Rollers up against the unstoppable Thea Fussy Oli. Thea Fussy Oli struggling to find a way through. Thank Fiend almost through the front of the back. Titan of Aurora Derby. She's looking for points here on her second lap. She's using Tara Satana as a as a truck and trailer. And she's coming to jam. It looks like it might be two points for the Pirate City Rollers. Better than four points. Four points for the Pirate City Rollers. Well done there to Fia Fussy Ori. Well played. That dog uh, brings our scores up to BCR 71. Pirate City 55. Still very close. I just want a big shout out to Hate. Thank you for uh, just correcting us there. It's seventh and eighth that we're playing for here, not uh, fifth and sixth. Seventh and eighth, ladies and gentlemen. Skate the mess, stepping up for Pirate City. Energy for Brisbane. It should be interesting. These people have, I say people, these lovely ladies have played already against each other in a couple of other games. And it looks like Penergy does get the advantage. And Rick gets out of that pack with lead in general. Skate the Moss still trying to find a way through that last line of defense at the front of the pack there, not having much luck. Great work from the Brisbane, Brisbane blockers taking it down. She's running the risk of being left here. Almost, she's free and clear just in time to avoid the grand slam. Yeah, very nicely done there by Skate the Moss with a small apex shot. Uh, Penergy was taken down strongly by Terra Saitana, and she calls the jam on the ground. Well done there to Penergy, scoring some more much-needed points for BCR to increase that lead against the Pirate City Rollers. Three minutes 40 on the clock for this first period. Just a quick score update, ladies and gentlemen. 73 points to the Brisbane City Rollers, 55 to the Pirate City Rollers. Brisbane with one blocker in the bin. Slight advantage in the pack to Pirate City. Fufas, the is ready to jam. Slow start. Oh. Very slow start off the, uh, off the pack line. And it looks like someone's getting sent to the bin. And it is Big Mac, number 77, for the Pirate City Rollers. And Sarah Gardner and the Fasioli are on. It's interesting to see that BCR finally have a bigger jammer on the line than the Pirate Cities for once. Oh, oh. A lot of bodies down. Sarah Gardner is through again, showing her worth in this bout. Oh, did you see that? She was backwards skating with one foot. Amazing stuff. Extreme athleticism there. That girl definitely getting a hug by you see me, Johnny Pistol. And I'm sure that will be a moment she will treasure. Oh, she, I'm pretty sure she's going to despise every moment of it, but doesn't mean I'm not going to steal it from her. Fair enough, too. Okay, that's 77 to Brisbane, 55 to Pirate City. Two minutes, 20 remaining in this first period. And a jammer I love watching, and, and that's Tara Saitana. Up against Speed Angel for Brisbane City Rollers, but Tara Saitana just has that crazy tactics of brute strength. She's like uh, the total opposite to what everyone considers a jammer, and she does an amazing job on skates. She's quite agile, uh, and I've seen her move laterally just as good as people like Penergy, Iron Thighs, uh, Skate the Must. So... Great stuff by Terra Saitana. We do have an official timeout. It looks like a bit of a thin pack for uh, Pirate City at the moment. Uh, only two blockers on the track, facing up against three for Brisbane. Um, Brisbane's already preparing for the uh, quick start. 
Terra Satana, however, if it's only a wall of three, she might be able to bust through that pretty quick. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens in this next game. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the score again is 77 to the Brisbane City Rollers, 55 to the Pirate City Rollers, 20 point, tw sorry, 22 points, the difference, anything is possible. And it looks like uh, Newcastle is singing the teapot song in the grandstands. I guess if you've got a song to sing, it's either going to be Teddy Bear's Teddy Bear's Picnic or the teapot song. So uh, good choice, I reckon. They're my people. They're my peeps. Don't be embarrassed. No, no, no. I, I love them all, and they tolerate me. Nothing quite like a, a derby crew that tolerates us MCs. We can be a little bit obnoxious when we need to be. But push comes a shove. We're here at the TGSS 2012, yeah, here with TNN, and it's wonderful, and we're having a great time. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to roughly this position on the track with the uh, two Pirate City blockers standing well back from the pivot line, just wondering whether they're actually going to prepare to engage Speed Angel fairly early on in the piece and let uh, Terra Satana go through by herself to face that wall. Yeah, it looks like we are, might be almost at the end of this official review. BCR's Benchy XL in the middle of the track, just having a small conversation, making sure everything's cleaned up, whether it's minors or points, I'm not quite sure, but uh, definitely serious. BCR still with a 22-point lead under their belt. Yeah, and that is the official time out. Looks like it's ready to roll. Terra Satana for the Pirate City Rollers. Speed Angel, number 88, for the Brisbane City Rollers. New start here for Brisbane. Won't need to get this jam started quickly while they have a blocker advantage, three to two. Both girls having a hard time here at the back of the track. Oh, Skate the Must looking to take out Speed Angel. And Terra Satana is the jammer. How do that roll? Very nice. If anyone can break a wall, it is Terra Satana. Time and time again, that girl proves that she is, without a doubt, the strongest player on skates here at the TGSS. What a fast moving pack. Speed Angel trying to... Oh, nicely misses contact there. Speed Angel is free and clear from the front of the pack as Terra Satana is lining up for a scoring pass. Yeah, Terra Satana on her second lap. These are the points, and there are four points for Terra Satana. Well done. Hit it and quit it. Wonderful to see Terra Satana with such speed as well. Great player. Privilege to watch. Speed Angel did get the disadvantage there, and uh, Pirate City will move up. Four points. 59 to Pirate City. 77 to the Brisbane City Rollers. Uh, Brisbane was blocking a bit of track awareness there as the blockers out the front just stretched too far out in front, found themselves in a position where they couldn't legally engage the Pirate City jammer and had to let it go. Sacrificing four points in the process. Yeah, that's right. Maladjusted. These are some interesting tactics going on here. We have Lady Trample, number 54 for the Pirate City Rollers, and also number 54, Panergy for the Brisbane City Rollers. Oh, wow. the jammer. What a wonderful little trick and a step over the apex here by Panergy and getting a half track lap on Lady Trample. Excellent work there. Panergy looking for points. Both girls number 54, I find that interesting. It's not very often that you find two girls with the same number. Good defensive work there by Pirate City. Yeah, keeping that to a two point uh, score by Penergy. Wonderful work there. To, to make a jam, a call the jam off with only two points, great defense. Okay, a couple of seconds on the clock. And Colonel Panic, head referee is calling half time on this one. Nice colour. So as we go into half time, the score is Brisbane 80, Pirate City 59. Yeah, this is definitely shaping up to be one of those great bouts where anything can change the score. Pirate City are, are the, the better defensive team, I'm finding. Uh, Brisbane City, the, the more offensive team. It seems to be working for them. They're going to have their little meetings. They're going to decide tactics. So stick around for the second half of the Pirate City Rollers and the Brisbane City Rollers. I'm Johnny Pistol, and I have with me... Maladjusted. Stick around. <laughs> 